my friends and welcome. My name is Dennis and today I'm at Pontianak city and I was hiking and I found this. This is a uh, aircraft, an aircraft. I don't know the type of this aircraft. It looks like beach craft, uh, but I don't know the model. Uh, so if you know this aircraft, the type of this aircraft, uh, please write down in your comments below. Uh, this is kind of abandoned building here and this is abandoned aircraft, abandoned for sure and I think it will never fly again <laughs> because this condition is very, very bad condition. Uh, I think it was twin engine because it not looks like the engine was installed here. This is kind of electronic compartment because you can see electronic plug over there. This kind of electronic and this also some kind of wire. I don't know. There's also many, many wires here. So this was, I think, the like an electronic rack for this airplane. Uh, the, the engines, I think, were installed over here and uh, the wings should be somewhere here. This is attachment to the wings. But this is also electronic feed. And yeah, it's not looks like the fuel tank was inside the, this wing root. Huh. It's still alive. Still alive. Electricity protecting protector. It seems like inverter, so something like this. Here. Here. Looks like abandoned aircraft, isn't it? <laughs> so the main the wing was attached here. Here and also here somewhere yeah here many attachments the strongest part of this airplane midwing is launcher on so this is a part the strongest here I don't know what for what was used this kind of maybe for anti-icing the hot air maybe it's like a duct for hot air I don't know, maybe it's used for like heating of the inside here. I don't know. Yeah, I think for here inside because it look like rubber boots. Boots the same like we used in ATR. So maybe the, the icing here is like in the ATR used with the rubber boots. This is the only entrance to this airplane. Is here. The door can be still be can still be used. There's also mosquitoes here. They already bite me several times. Ah, also some kind of rubber boots. Boots. This is antenna, maybe for VHF. I don't know. The rudder was attached here and here. Oh, very nice aircraft. This is actually control. The controls. Control cable, I don't know what it's doing here, outside of the airplane. Oh, this is another way to go in. This door actually can be used for parachute jumpers. The outside of this airplane. I think you'll never see anything through this glass anymore. I like these kind of things. Just imagine how many flights this airplane had. Many, many, many flights. It's look like I think it's used for cooling or something like this. I don't know what is this. Ah. 
required la 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 use heater system yeah heater system control it's heater system system used to heat the inside ear and i think this was a baggage compartment over there so guys if you know the name of this airplane please let me know uh, this is the radiator for cooling or for something like this uh. yeah quite nice airplane and just near to the main road <laughs> Actually, I spotted it when I was arriving to my hotel. I spotted it uh, from the road and I decided to film to hike from the hotel to this airplane and film some kind of the video. Registration Papa Kila Bravo Bravo Juliet. BBG Boeing Business Jet. Now you know how it looks. Boeing BBG. Oh. The door working okay. Wonder why. I wonder why. Inside. Oh. Whoa. Fully rubbish inside. Totally destroyed. Oh, what is this? Safety valve. Be PSID setting. Uh, maybe it's pneumatic valve. Maybe this aircraft was pressurized. And the pressurization system also. This is a stringers uh, elements, and this is bulkheads. So the force element, which actually put into frame to reinforce the whole structure of the airplane this is a skin outside and inside so this is the strongest bulkhead over here and over there to this bulkhead uh, the longeron the wing longeron is attached and to this bulkhead the after longeron of the wing also attached so it's the strongest part of uh, usually the strongest part of every airplane the wing route some controls was here and i think there was a pressurization system because it looks like or air condition or pressurization system yeah totally destroyed and all mosquitoes <sighs> bites me the chain this chain was used for for a control for the aileron control to bang the airplane it's like just it's like in a control wheel if you rotate you can pull this to ropes and you can control the row yeah, everything is destroyed, but we have some instruments left. A suction, yes, I don't know what is suction, already an operative. Maybe it's a part of pressurization, oxygen cycling, the oxygen pressure. You can see there of the lock. I don't know what is lock. Dump, pull. To dump, we need to pull. Fuel dump? <laughs> I don't know. Alternate ear. Yeah, for sure this altitude ear pulled to open. Yeah, for sure this airplane had a pressurization system because some controlling of the pressurization, I think this was a pressurization system, our alternate ear pull to open pressurization. Yeah, pressurization air control dump then. Yeah, so, yeah. All controls left only for pressurization system. This is uh, air condition control, high air condition, low air condition, cool, circulate, recirculation uh, air. This is a gear selector, still operative. <laughs> Up and down, 
gear and lock indication. This is light for noise wheel, left hand uh, landing gear, and right hand landing gear. Emergency gear extension. I think you need just to pull this some put some kind of handle there, and you need just to pull it for emergency gear extension. Oh. This part of it was totally destroyed. Here were the lights, I think. This is this was the flaps, maybe the flap selector. Oh, I totally destroyed, totally rubbish. This is the trim, I think, or maybe it's a steering for the noise wheel steering. Yeah, for sure it's noise wheel steering. Left, right, maybe on on the ground to use this, to steer the, on the ground this is a place for two seats and some pedals left also braking cylinder there <laughs> the the braking cylinder in each pedal very interesting so this uh, cylinder for this a pedal and that cylinder I hope you can see I will turn on the flashlight uh, yeah I hope you can see it now this cylinder for every every wing this cylinder for this pedal and that cylinder for this pedal yeah now it's more clear with the flashlight turn off strobe lights in fog cloud or haze okay <laughs> Uh, very interesting, very nice. I'm the first time at an airplane like this. The overhead panel totally destroyed. The phone desk destroyed. Uh, very pity, very pity. It was really nice airplane, I think. For four or even four six passenger capacity maybe i think maybe useful for passenger passengers capacity i think it's more look like a beach craft i think it was a beach craft or yeah something like this something like this oh there is another chain uh, over there the big one maybe it was used for for bank, for bank control or the rudder and you see the chain goes to this wheel uh, yeah very very nice at least something left here <laughs> some part of the instruments selectors which still can be operative Cabin pressurization, yeah, this is cabin pressurization control. Seat belt, oxygen, door light, everything is working. We can fly, guys. <laughs> wow. Well, very, very nice. Something still left here. Now the spiders live in here. The spiders and many many mosquitoes that bite me already several times. Uh, okay, let's go outside because inside is very hard. Uh, uh, I'm sweating over there because it's very. It's evening now, but it's very very hot inside. I don't know why. Oh. Maybe I can find this airplane, give them the registration, uh, so I will find the internet the name of this airplane. Maybe I'll find the owner. Just curious about this about this airplane history. Papa Kilo Brava Brava Juliet. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I'm sure you cannot take anything from this airplane anymore. 
like a spare parts, everything is destroyed. It's also part of some kind of control. Oh. And early failed. Yeah, though I think the engines were here, and I also think this airplane uh, is, was a turboprop airplane. Because uh, if it had the pressurization system, it can fly for a very high altitude. I think it was a turboprop aircraft. The, it has, it had two engines. Uh, which were installed here somewhere at the strongest part of the wing root and uh, I think it was a trooper prop because if it was a piston uh, why should it have the pressurization system because for piston aircraft usually they don't equip with a pressurization system because they fly up to around 10,000 feet the piston aircraft usually fly if you want to fly higher, yeah, of course you need or oxygen system or pressurization system or together like here. Oxygen, uh, I saw the oxygen system and pressurization system controls. Uh, so I think it was turboprop aircraft uh, with capacity of maximum six passenger seats, maybe, maybe less, maybe less, but not more. Yeah, the noise gear, the noise wheel, the noise wheel is, I think it's absent. Yeah, it's, it's standing on, I'll just want to see it, what it's standing. No, the noise wheel is here, it's just in the bushes. In the bushes, in the bushes. Ah, this is a noise wall. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Still okay, you can fly, no problem. That <laughs> uh, is a classical telescopic construction of the noise wall. It has a noise wall steering. This marks usually for towing, for pushback. Yeah. Fully retractable noise wheel. Retractable over there. Uh, I think the main gear was missing with the engines. Quite a good aircraft, you know. I would be lucky to fly, to try to fly this one. But unfortunately, it's not flying anymore. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, share it, like it, and if you know the name of this aircraft, please let me know with your comments. And I, from my side, I will check the registration number and I will check the type of this aircraft and maybe I'll find the history of this aircraft because it's very interesting to know why it's here and why it's in this condition. Now thank you for your attention and have a good time.